Hey everyone, my name is Jim Gresham and I'm a tour guide with Walks of Charleston and we're going to take a walk today through the beautiful historic district of Charleston, South Carolina. Thanks a lot for joining me today everybody. Wow, what a beautiful day I have to work with here. It is a Chamber of Commerce day that we've got here in beautiful Charleston, South Carolina. The wind is coming out of the north at about 5 to 10 miles an hour. Uh, we have temperatures right at around 58 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, it's about 14 degrees centigrade for you folks up in Canada, maybe visiting from Europe. Holy cow, I know that we're going to have folks visiting from all over the world today, and I am so excited to show off my adopted hometown of beautiful Charleston, South Carolina. I've been a tour guide here in the city uh, for five years now, and wow, uh, do I have a big canvas to work with. Charleston enjoys more buildings on the National Historic Register than any other city in the country. We've got the largest historic district of any other city in the country, and we just celebrated our 350th anniversary, and so I am never without a subject to talk about. Uh, today, I think we're going to take a trip up to uh, probably the most uh, important building uh, that we've got here in Charleston, probably in South Carolina as a whole as well, uh, the old Exchange and Provost Dungeon. Uh, from there, uh, take a trip down East Bay Street, get to see some of those beautiful row homes of uh, Rainbow Row. Uh, take a trip uh, even further down East Bay Street, uh, go to see the uh, beautiful mansions on the High Battery and loop around White Point Gardens up to uh, Meeting Street. And, you know, it's our tour. It's our day, we can do anything we want, and there's really uh, no roadmap that we have to follow. So uh, we're gonna have a good time. I uh, want to uh, let you know <laughs> that this is my first live stream. <laughs> so this is my, my first adventure of doing this. And uh, so I'm kind of working without a net. <laughs> and so I know uh, that you guys are here to catch me if I fall. Uh, I'm in the capable hands of uh, Christopher Sandeman, uh, tour guide, entrepreneur extraordinaire. Uh, Chris is coming over from Europe, uh, where unfortunately, because of the pandemic, all tours are suspended. And so he decided to come uh, over to the States, uh, engage with some tour guides here, and in work with some of these live streams. But uh, I know that once we're all seeing ourselves on the other side of the pandemic, uh, we're going to be eager and itching to get our travel on. And hopefully, if we have a chance to get across the pond into Europe, uh, we'll find the opportunity to travel uh, under uh, the great care of Sandeman Europe Tours. What a great uh, opportunity that's going to be. Hey, Jim, just so you know, we've got a bunch of people joining in with us right now. They're oh, saying fantastic. hi. Uh, Mary Beth. Uh, Mayano. Mayano, yeah. Hey, Mayano. Mary Beth, how are you? Is Ed there with you? How are you? She says Ed and I are ready to go. Fantastic, Thanks, beautiful. Uh, Juan Carlos Faust is saying hi from Washington State. JC, how are you, buddy? Good uh, to see you. Thanks for coming in. Suzanne uh, McMurtry. Yep. Uh, yeah. She's beautiful. My hi beautiful as well. si sweet sister Sue. How are you, dear? Uh, Michaela, uh, aka Praxis Hin und Her, who's a regular follower of ours from Germany. From Guten Poland. Tag. Oh, Schöne Köln. Guten Abend. Best Willkommen. Sagt hallo. Hey, hey. Hallo. Francis. Just nice. said go dad. Hey, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so, for being there for me. It's always nice when you can get your, your children to well, support you. I've, I've got my fan club here. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. This is wonderful. And so I uh, want to uh, ask folks to uh, do me a favor. Uh, if you notice when you're taking a look at your monitor, maybe your phone, maybe your tablet, uh, there's going to be uh, below me a uh, couple of buttons. The first is going to be the like button. So uh, do yourselves a favor, click that like button, and all of a sudden, it's going to release all kinds of endorphins. And wow, uh, you're gonna be on cloud nine. So just click that button and holy cow, you're gonna feel really great. Uh, so not only click the button, what even makes you even feel better is you know, you've got this great resource here, you got me, uh, just share it. You know, there's probably somebody who maybe not on Facebook, maybe there's somebody on, uh, you know, just in your phone. Uh, maybe there's uh, somebody on Facebook who's not part of my friends network and you can share that with them. Uh, they can join in and take a trip to a historic Charleston. Now, uh, 
I'm sure with this pent up demand for travel, uh, maybe you and your girlfriends have been talking about, wow, we gotta get down to have a girls weekend in Charleston. Sure, you know, let's use this as a backdrop, get some excitement, get some enthusiasm going and uh, start planning your trip now. Why, why not? You know, it sounds like uh, no time like the present. Uh, there's also another feature and uh, of course, Ed, Mary Beth, thanks a lot for, uh, for writing in. Uh, Francis as well, everybody, uh, thank you. And please uh, have the opportunity to make some comments. Uh, these uh, Google squirrels that are running on their little treadmills, wow, they get really excited uh, when they see comments coming in and, and we want those squirrels to be happy. So uh, let's keep that treadmill spinning and keep some comments going. Ask me questions. There's no such thing as a stupid question. We just like to have questions flowing in and you see something wacky that you can't explain, uh, something that uh, you'd like some more information about, uh, dispel any rumors, things like that. Myth busting, I like to myth bust here. Uh, we can do that too. Uh, so please uh, share your comments. Do you have a couple other people saying hi that I got a shout out for you? I'd love to. Uh, Remy. Oh, beautiful uh, Remy. Hi, Uncle Jimmy. Uh, she's from my, NYC. My lovely goddaughter, yes indeed, hi. Yeah. Uh, uh, Margie Wydell, uh, Suzanne's friend in uh, Ellicott City. Beautiful, Hello. my hometown of beautiful Ellicott City, oh, Maryland. Oh, yeah. very so cool. I'm not a native to the state here. I'm originally from Maryland, from Ellicott City, and uh, came down here way back in 1981 to go to school. And I graduated from a local military college, a place called the Citadel here. And uh, yeah, uh, once I graduated, instead of going into the military, I got a job in the shipping business. And kind of like the military, the shipping business likes to move you around a lot and so I found myself bouncing up and down the East Coast. Uh, lived in Brazil for a bit and eventually in 1980, 1996 uh, got a transfer back here to Charleston and I, I never laughed and so uh, under normal circumstances I'd say that uh, this part of the world is a rather infectious environment but Probably not the best terminology to use presently, but uh, it certainly does. Uh, it certainly does uh, get into uh, your system. And uh, wow, once you've been here and experienced Charleston, you want to come back. It's so nice. I say you have to see it twice. Uh, Ellen Carp, uh, hi from Baltimore. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. She's my brand new daughter-in-law. Love, Aww. Christina. Yes. <laughs> Cole Murray says hi from Austin, Texas. Hey, hey, how are you? Beautiful stuff. Hey, um, something I've just noticed, I'm, I don't seem to be seeing the chat being imported from Facebook right now. Interesting. So I'm gonna just also check on my other phone. If you are watching on Facebook and are chatting uh, and not, uh, uh, and not getting responded to. You can always come over to the YouTube channel as well. Good place um, to be. But I'll pull it up on my phone so we can see the chat there as well. Uh, Sounds great. Jill Bellis says uh, uh, she's watching from Arizona. Ooh. And uh, Christina is giving us some support as well right now. So love it. I love it. I love it. There's one other uh, element and uh, I guess we'll have a bit of a uh, sort of a borrow a page uh, from National Public Radio here. Uh, this is going to be a, uh, a no pledge pledge drive, I guess we could call it. Uh, buried down there in the YouTube verbiage, uh, there's a link. There's a link that's uh, to a donation button. And obviously this pandemic has caused uh, some disruption, uh, particularly with travel, tourism, hospitality. and. Yeah, if you feel that there's some value associated with uh, this tour, uh, please feel free to uh, drop a donation. It uh, comes to me and uh, would certainly appreciate it and gets me a chance to uh, maybe buy some new books. I uh, love, the, uh, love the famous expression uh, by uh, Thomas Jefferson, I cannot live without books. So one of those things that keeps a tour guide going. So thank you very much and I appreciate it in advance. Uh, are we ready to start walking, do you think? Yeah, I've just gotten a notice from someone that for some reason the feed is not going to Facebook right now. Okay. And uh, just trying to figure out why. Maybe we can get those, uh, pull the strings to the marionettes and make them work. Uh, right. We're here uh, just uh, as a reference. Yeah. Uh, we're if here you at. Keep uh, talking, I'll, uh, I'm going to figure out the Facebook thing. Uh, okay, uh, we're here at uh, beautiful Charleston Harbor. Uh, Charleston Harbor uh, was originally, uh, when it was mapped out by uh, Colonel William Hilton, uh, it was originally called Grace Bay. Uh, Grace Bay was described as a fine 
Saltwater Bay. Probably heard about Hilton Head Island just a couple of hours to the south of us. Uh, Hilton Head Island, originally chartered, mapped out uh, by Colonel William Hilton in the mid 1650s. And uh, we explored, found English explorers uh, here in this area all the way back to about 1640, 1650. Spanish were here, the French were here. Uh, so it was a known entity, a known place. Uh, but this area wasn't officially settled until 1670 until 1670. We're good on Facebook, Jill says. Thank you, Jill. Hey, now we love this feedback and if we didn't have uh, if we didn't have the uh, the interaction uh, with you folks at home, uh, then we wouldn't know these things exist. So keep us uh, keep us in mind if uh, anything uh, glitches out on us. But beautiful Charleston Harbor, just uh, check the uh, the harbor temperature. Our water temperature in the harbor is matching the air temperature. And just last week, uh, so right now it's approximately uh, 57, 58 degrees. Uh, that's the same temperature as the water. Last week, it was down to 51 degrees. A couple of weeks before that, it was a 48, and that's about as low as it gets here. So uh, we are definitely seeing uh, some signs of spring emerging. Uh, just to the right, we have the Harbor Pilots Headquarters. These guys are uh, professional captains who uh, do the uh, stressful job of guiding in these amazing 16,000 TEU container ships uh, through our Charleston Harbor and into uh, their berthing locations. Uh, very stressful job, tough job, and it's a, a very rewarding job that uh, usually these guys seem to have for life. Hey, Jim, yes. small technical thing. Uh, actually, Jill um, made a mistake. She's on YouTube, actually. It's still not on Facebook. I'm just going to end the stream for a second okay. and then start back again in just one minute. Okay. Hey, we're live, right? Guys, it's like sorry, ch it's children quick, and animals. Quick, quick technical issue for us. We're going to just get it fixed. We're going to be right back to you in just one minute, okay? Because we want to make sure that the Facebook folks can see it too. It's my bad, not Jim's. Don't blame him. <laughs> Thanks for your patience.